All right. I usually lost those bloody headphones, mate. Um, about three months ago, I had a pair of them. They're good. Uh, you've got DT 770s on, isn't it? Or 990s, I'm not sure. 990 Pro. Um, you open back, guy. So Not so great on the tube. Okay. Tube. <laughs> Let's see, is this working? Yeah, I can see my screen. So, um, I just want to go through quickly why, uh, why sync thing. Um, so the thing is, there's like, uh, you know, we're the community, we need to share files. Um, uh, we use uh, stuff like uh, Google Drive or Dropbox or WeTransfer and uh, all those kind of things actually should be and those kinds of things. Hmm? Wait a second, I have to. Way too many other kinds of things. I forgot I'm still on share here. So you see my face. Okay, cool. Um, yes, so, like I said, um, um, this join tell us about sync thing and uh, sync thing is a tool to share files between uh, computers, and uh, we need this kind of stuff to uh, to share um, different operational things and organizational things like. Uh, I don't know about text files and stuff, you know, there's this thing about Google Docs where it's really, uh, it's really handy to have advanced operations, like even in the spreadsheets and, um, but apart from that, there's this general topic of file storage and, uh, we handle some of this with Git, but it's also GitHub and GitHub is also centralized. Um, so I identified like some caveats of those centralized providers. Like you never control the data fully. Uh, I mean, you can usually make a local folder from your cloud folder, but yeah, so you get them in the event Google burns down, but um, still Google has the files and you essentially don't know if they would not share their files with somebody else. Um, okay, but we're trying to keep it open though, isn't it? So it doesn't really matter if they do share our files because we're not giving them anything of like That is utmost. true, but what about file syncing? Like uh, imagine you, many people use uh, those cloud services actually uh, for syncing their own files, like uh, even maybe a private key, you know, uh, I won't lie, like to, uh, to have a very small, I think I have one or two private keys for like, you know, maybe there's nothing on there anymore or whatever, you know, from my first Ethereum mm -hmm. accounts, but in general, you should do that. Um, so, uh, you also have no influence over where the data is actually located. Like you usually don't know which country it's in and, you know, there can always be something coming up with law or, you know, whatever crackdown on no, this has to change. There cannot be, uh, these kind of files. So, mm -hmm. um, because they have to be responsible for whatever is on their servers, you can probably assume that the data is being crawled and analyzed. Um, mm -hmm. so, uh, yeah. as an example, I'm not sure if you can keep pirated games on your Google drive and share them to people and, uh, yeah, you'd probably uh, get kicked off the service and how would they know, right? So if they're not yeah. analyzed, um, there may be a smaller risk, but it happens all the time. Like if the provider gets hacked, uh, your data is exposed, of course, it can be deleted as well. Um, you might be platformed <laughs> by the service for whatever reason, you know, uh, it could be involvement in cryptocurrency even for some things like on Facebook, there's a little, yeah. I heard of many people yeah, actually yeah. becoming the platform. Becoming maybe more for, and more of a platform, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> I mean, yeah, if you if you raise your voice, you know, uh, and your voice is not, um, you know, uh, yeah, it's people take uh, offense to that. There can be a kind of, can be repercussions. Um, oh, you know it, brother. It's and you know, platform. there is great <laughs> things as well that come with uh, the software uh, client to use a software client like Sync thing. Um, mm -hmm. Because like, if you want to share big files or huge directories full of 
gigabytes or terabytes even there is it's that's really hard uh with something like yeah. the, the the general ones and um you have to pay of course for even like medium but like hard really large files are almost impossible like system backups you know or video raw audio that kind of stuff raw audio probably works but uh not yeah, like a week full of audio that's also running into maybe too much sync thing will help us with say burning man files yeah yes ex that's exactly what we did uh for the last burning man um it did not catch on in the way that um what i did was i shared the videos that we recorded from uh the central camp but i also recorded uh, i shared the audio and actually the audio got used and in that way is currently being uh made into a podcast it's just the videos were of too crazy quality because of burning man technical issues that they could not uh, use them much, but actually it worked a uh, great, uh, through a sync thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you that in a second with the, with the thing. Um, and the so last I... thing, uh, wait a second, sorry. <laughs> the last mm -hmm. thing is, uh, it's really nice. And people might not think about that is you usually have to upload your files to share them, but with sync thing, you don't, they're already on your hard drive. So you just boom, share them. So if you have a, one terabyte to share that's pretty handy um so let me show you around i can't see your screen is what i was gonna say <laughs> yeah it's uh i don't that's what i was reading of the post i'm gonna post to the forum uh -huh. and yeah, I'm, I'm gonna... yeah just as an intro thing for the video i don't know if like can tell me in a, in a comment if you liked it or not <laughs> So let's, <laughs> let's share this here. Forum.giveth.io, isn't it? Oh, yeah. This is where, where you are at. Cool. GovLab. Let's go in there. To do action items. Ooh. Uh, notes about the GovLab. Where, Actually, where we looking? can make a second show and tell after this one about uh, the forum because I wanted to tackle it as well in a way to show people around what's, what's possible. Okay, maybe we should do another week's work and get some stuff pre-populated in there and then we can do a show and tell that's show and telly. Yeah, so let me quickly go here. Um, so you see, this is like, you were here, that's the site. It's syncthing.net and you just download it like here. Are done different. I think I'm, I'm showing this be because you have some problems, I think. You basically, if you're a Mac OS, you click this here. Yeah, but I can't see your screen, unfortunately. It's saying you've got connectivity issues, or I am. Mm. Uh, so It will be visible in the video, uh, though. <laughs> so keep talking and keep going, then, I reckon. I'm right? sorry, yeah. I mean, it's showing you my Jitsi that it's me sharing the, my screen, so you should actually see it. Uh, yeah, but yeah. Maybe, I'll watch it back. <laughs> crack on. Maybe your connection is bad. Um, so what I'm showing here is actually the, if you install it, you get into this, uh, that's the overview. That's all the folders I share. Do you see it now? Uh, I see folders, this device and remote devices. But yeah, cool. Most. That's basically what, uh, you must have seen this, right? Like the, that's a basic interface yeah. of same thing. And you see that we have like the central here, like that's like rock city 18. And you know, uh, it's shared with Bowen, yeah. Cam and Joshua. Mm -hmm. uh, that's when he last updated it, which is, I guess, today, right? Um, this is where it's stored and so on. These are all the devices I have remotely. Like they, I'm, I'm sure this becomes like inconvenient with like too, too many people, but I would say for a small community like ours, it would work very well. Uh, on top of that, you only have, you usually share the um some files with some people and not all of the files with all the people like i i wouldn't why would you need the uh the central video folder it clocks in at 427 gigabytes and that's why my example from before was uh 
was headed to, this would be way too heavy. Uh, another good example that, that I would love to distribute more is the Giveth YouTube backup. Uh, because we had a hack on our YouTube, all our videos were gone for, uh, I, know, I think, a few days. And because we could pull some strings at Google, they could recover them. Uh, not all of them, but most. And so now we started to back them up ourselves so they cannot be lost again. And so mm -hmm. Frederick made this nice video backup tool. So run it once a month. It's open on GitHub. So everybody yeah. can just uh, easily back up our YouTube. And if it's for even a, an easier thing, you can uh, request that this one is being shared to you. The interesting one for you was this one, which is the library. Uh, yeah, I have that. I can't see what you're talking about still, but uh, is it the Much Knowledge folder? Yes, it's, it's called Much Knowledge. We can also <laughs> edit the name of the folder. Um, uh -huh. I don't know where that actually is. I'm currently clicking on it right now, and I'm also clicking on your name in the remote device. But, you know, for me, if I'm here at folders, like you should be mirrored because it says you're up to date. Let me see, edit. Yeah, I'm going to, I share much knowledge with you. So you should actually yeah, have I'm, it. I, I probably do. I just don't know how to access it. Um, so on the left side, right, you see that I clicked on the much knowledge and the first plus second is the folder path. And that's where it should be. Uh, I can't see your screen, but I've clicked on much knowledge in mine. Folder path, yes. Oh, shit. It's on my desktop then, is it? Not yeah. my desktop. <laughs> Ta -da. It's installed on my computer. Uh, <laughs> user J. Much knowledge. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a whole bunch of... Oh, yeah, I see now, understanding color uh, towards her palette. Uh, yeah, it's a bit non unordered, messy yeah. thing. Like, we can curate yeah, it into game. categories. Nice. If you want. Yes, bro. So you feel it? You feel what happened now? Now you can put all the documents you want to share with the, like, build a body of knowledge of, uh, you know, the library of our community. You just put them in there. And go. Cool. If somebody wants them, you just tell them, hey, uh, connect to me on Think Thing. And that's something I actually never tried. Like what happens now if you share this to another person? It becomes very distributed because I, I don't think that's sharing back with me. Um, it Like the Think Thing will share it back with you, but I will not necessarily know. I think that you shared the, show, the folder again. Uh, how can I share the folder at remote device? So you can share the folder on the, on the lower right. You can see add remote device. No, I can't. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, I can. Sorry. Yeah. So that's the plan. <laughs> that's okay. And, uh, oh, add remote device and, uh, yeah, in general, you can put in a device ID. The device ID you get from Actions, which is on top, and you can select Show ID. And this is actually in the video, which is fine. This, this is my, uh, you can scan the QR code now and request uh, identification with my computer. We did that the last time, yeah. Yeah, but that's how you would add, for example, your phone. Oh, okay. Well, maybe maybe let's try that since I've got it right next to me. Um, if you want to, like, I have to say it's uh, 320 megabytes, like depending on your phone, it might be a bit heavy, but just yeah, so, cool. um, this is a very, so if you really don't want to lose some data, like for example, your private keys, I mean, for sure, uh, everybody has his own solution. This is not recommended security advice. It's just, I do think it might be better than putting stuff like that on Google, just share it between two of your computers. Those can be any devices. Like seriously, you could go outside, get a Raspberry Pi, uh, yeah, you know, for 30 bucks and make it your sync thing server by plugging an external hard drive into it. And boom, you have uh, your own cloud service. No, you know, basically no file limit. Like we're talking terabytes for hundred bucks. Yep. 
Yeah, I've I've got a Raspberry Pi and external drive. Um, I might get around to that. Oh yeah, point. oh yeah. You yeah, probably asked yourself. <laughs> yeah, currently, I need the Pi's mouse to use my computer. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of hacky things happening at the minute. <laughs> Yeah. So thank you. This was a bit streamlined. Maybe, uh, yeah, we can, uh, I wanted to power through because maybe, or my hope is somebody would actually like, um, view watch this video, later. watch it later and, uh, you know, just find out well, about, I guess about <laughs> what I can't we did see anything on your screen. <laughs> Wait a second. So now I'm back again. Nope. Your screen just got bigger. <laughs> My screen got bigger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you should see me. Uh, I think your... Oh, my connection is bad. Is that possible? Mm. Hmm. It says it's you, but it could just as well be my internet. Um, <laughs> it says Kai is having connectivity issues, but... Check the... Well, well, we'll check the video and find out. All right. So, by the way, I did not stream this. Like, this was recorded with OBS, so I can oh, edit it. You know, like, if some of us shows our private stuff, we can blur it, whatever. I'm not going to do that here. Just upload it like mm -hmm. it is. That's maybe another one for another um, show and tell. And yep, sounds good. Thanks, Josh. You were a great audience. It's, I need a, a face on the other side to talk to if I do stuff like that. <laughs> Pleasure to jam, brother. Power chords all the way. Nice. All right. So, yeah. see you at the next show and tell audience we're going to continue in private.